What's up everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Before we start this video, if you're watching my video for the first time, smashing that red subscribe button below will really motivate me to make more content. And also if you end up liking this video, give this video a thumbs up. Apple is planning something big for the 2021 MacBook Pro with a redesign expected that could change the 13-inch MacBook Pro to 14-inch. There are many new features expected that will also be the part of 2021 MacBook Pro like the Apple's M1 chip and the new screen technology. 14-inch MacBook Pro is rumored since a long time, TF International Securities analyst Ming Haikyu suggested that the 14-inch MacBook Pro will hit the shelves by the end of the year. But later, Q changed his forecast and suggested Apple pushed the release of MacBook to 2021 because Apple wants to use the mini LED displays in new models and because of this pandemic, there are problems with supply of displays. Twitter user love to dream and John Prosser both agree that 14-inch MacBook Pro will arrive in 2021. For when in 2021, analyst Ming Haikyu suggested that the MacBook Pro will arrive in autumn of 2021. There are no rumors suggesting the price of upcoming MacBook Pro, but I expect Apple might stick to the same price point as the previous Intel models, as Apple did with the Apple Silicon MacBook Air and 13-inch MacBook Pro. For the recap, the starting price for existing 16-inch MacBook Pro is £2399, or $3000. I have no idea what Apple will charge for the 14-inch MacBook Pro. When the 16-inch MacBook Pro arrived in November of 2019, it provided bigger screen which is made possible by reduced bezels around the display. After the arrival of that model, there have been rumors that Apple might change the 13-inch MacBook Pro with the model having a bigger screen. This doesn't mean that the dimensions of 13-inch model will change. The actual concept is that Apple might produce a 14-inch MacBook Pro by reducing the bezels around the display. Keep in mind that it's possible that Apple might never reveal the 14-inch MacBook Pro. Apple's Phil Schiller, when asked about a larger display for the 13-inch MacBook Pro back in November 2019, told YouTube personality Jonathan Morrison, I wouldn't draw any extrapolation from the 13-inch MacBook Pro to anything else. Let's see what Apple will bring this year. I think the 13-inch MacBook Pro will get a bigger display like the 16-inch MacBook Pro. But one thing analyst Ming Q has said that Apple will add a mini LED display to the MacBook Pro and other Apple products. Back in March 2020, Q suggested that Apple will change the 13-inch model with 14.1-inch with mini LED display. But later, because of coronavirus delays, he noted that the change will happen in 2021. Mini LED displays will provide superior contrast, white color gamut, and HDR as compared to the current Apple displays. I'm sure that the MacBook Pro 2021 will feature the Apple Silicon. There is a rumor suggesting that the new chip will be known as M1X. It's not the final name of the chip. A news from Bloomberg suggested that this chip will feature up to 16 power cores and 4 efficiency cores as Apple wants to outperform Intel's fastest processors. Also, a report from Bloomberg reported Apple is testing 16 core and 32 core graphic parts, which is huge improvement as compared to the existing 8 core GPU which is found in M1 chip. Apple said that the GPU in M1 chip is 5 times faster than its predecessors. In a developer document, Apple said the integrated CPU in Apple processors is optimized for high-performance graphics tasks. All these things suggest that Apple will release powerful laptop in the market. The 2.0 GHz 13-inch MacBook Pro offers 16 gigs of RAM, while M1 MacBook Pro offers 8 gigs of RAM. Apple claims that the unified memory architecture (UMA) don't need to have as much RAM because all the RAMs are at same place as the CPU and GPU, so all the RAMs can be accessed quickly. This means that the new 14-inch MacBook Pro will come with 8 gigs of RAM as standard. The 16-inch MacBook Pro features 100 watt battery. Let me tell you, this is the biggest battery size any laptop is allowed with while traveling in aircrafts. The 16-inch MacBook Pro provides you 11 hours of use because of 100 watt battery. 13-inch MacBook Pro offers 9 to 10 hours of use while they have Intel chip. The Apple Silicon makes it possible for Apple to achieve bigger battery life. The 2020 M1 MacBook Pro offers 20 hours of battery life, so it seems impressive. So let's see what the MacBook Pro 14-inch will offer. The MacBook Pro camera features 720 p resolution, while the Apple iPhone camera featured 1080p resolution and provides much better quality during FaceTime. I think Apple should change the MacBook's camera resolution because of online classes and video conferences. 
iPhone 11's camera is true depth so it offers Face ID. I think it would be great for a MacBook to get Face ID. The Big Sur Beta contains code that hints that the true depth camera is coming to the Mac. So let's see if it will happen. Let me know your views about the upcoming 14 inch MacBook Pro in the comment section below. This is the Tech Fielder. My name is Hamza Mukhtar and I'll be back soon.